Good evening, um, everyone. This is Ashley. I'm going to do 26 to 27 weeks pregnancy. Um, let y'all know what's going on with me and everything. I'm going to try to keep it brief as possible because I'll probably be interrupted um, during the video. Um, 26 weeks, um, my symptoms were frequent urination. I had a UTI that I was given um, Keflex for to treat. Um, fatigue. I had um, leg cramps. Um, very thirsty. That was about it. No other issues. Um, 27 weeks was pretty much the same thing, but the leg cramps got extremely worse um, to the point where I, I started sleeping on the floor and drinking pickle juice because my mother said that pickle juice um, works with cramps. <clears throat> pickle juice was no longer working. So, sleeping on the floor was like the only relief that I could get um, in order to sleep throughout the night. Uh, um, this past Wednesday, which was my birthday, September 2nd, I noticed that the leg cramps had gotten to the point where I was, uh, my muscles were extremely sore um i had no strength in my legs or my arms um it was very painful um but i continued to push through it um being that it was my birthday i decided just to you know keep it simple nothing spectacular so me and the wife went to the mall. We were gonna go to a few baby stores to look around. But after five minutes of walking in the mall, my legs went out on me. Um, I did not fall, um, but the wife, you know, kinda grabbed me up under my arms so that I could sit down until I regained some type of strength in my legs in order to walk, okay? After that, I was I was afraid to walk around in the mall for fear that my legs would give out and there was nothing that I could do about it. Yeah, I would fall. Okay, going to the car, um, getting into the car, my legs did go out again and I kind of just slumped in the car. Like my I couldn't lift my legs up or anything. Um, so while sitting in the car, I'm, I'm kind of like massaging my legs, drinking water, you know, trying to figure out, okay, what's going on? You know, my legs started to feel a little bit better. We decided to go to dinner. Dinner was great. Um, I went to my sorority sister's house and she has some steep little stairs, um, walking up to her doorway and I could not lift my legs to go up the stairs so I was like hmm that's weird you know no biggie didn't have you know I wasn't having any cramps or anything I just thought that was out the ordinary well later that night um I was sleeping on the floor once again you know massaging my legs and trying to stretch before going to sleep and finally went to sleep and the pain hit me in the middle of the night I woke up in tears because I could not pull myself up at all. I didn't have any upper body strength, nor did I have um, lower body strength, my legs or anything. Like, everything was numb. I couldn't use anything. Um, so I'm crying. I'm in tears. Um, I eventually went back to sleep, woke up the next morning, legs still... I really couldn't do anything with it. I was kind of dragging them like they were dead weight. Um, very heavy. I was exhausted after taking a few steps, but I, I kept trying to push myself. Well, eventually, 
um, my legs gave out completely and I could no longer walk. Um, my arms, I'm gonna show you guys, they were like this. This is as far as I can get my arm. That was it. So I called my doctor to let my doctor know exactly what was going on with me um, and asked him what did he advise that I do. Do I go to the emergency room? Do I need to report to him? Et cetera, et cetera. That was Thursday. Well, he told me to come in and see him. I drug myself in there, um, me and wifey, and, you know, my legs and my feet had swelling, swelling. <laughs> had, they were so swollen um, to the fact that they didn't even look like my legs. And I couldn't do anything about it. I could feel, like I didn't lose my sensation to it, but to use my muscles to walk or to reach or grab for anything, I could not do. Based on what he was saying and what I was telling him, I was admitted. Um, they admitted me Thursday and I have not been out of the hospital since Thursday. Um, since being in the hospital, I did have another falling uh, fall incident. I'm trying to use the bedside commode. I fell. Um, so that put me on total bed rest. Um, I did not hurt baby. Baby is absolutely fine. Um, my body is the one that is in distress. My potassium levels um, had dropped down to 2.1, which is a danger zone. And um, the normal range for potassium is 3.5 to, I think, 5.2. I was at a 2.1. So that was danger zone. My thyroid levels were low. Um, my magnesium was low. Um, basically, all my electrolytes for my body were low. Well, they started pumping me with potassium chloride, magnesium, and started me on uh, Synthroid. Um, it worked slowly, but surely it's, it's still working because I still haven't um, hit the normal range for my potassium. Um, I, uh, my thyroid has, um, excuse me, has uh, improved due to the Synthroid. Um, they placed me on magnesium this morning because my magnesium had dropped again. Um, my doctor did come in and speak with me as well as a nephrologist um, to let me know that I have from what test results that he um, had performed on me. He thinks that I am in um, kidney failure. Um, my OB feels as though um, my problems are due to preeclampsia. Um, they requested a 24-hour urine test because there was a high amount of protein found in my urine, um, as well as me having, you know, high blood pressure. Um, this is my first pregnancy and, you know, some other things. Um, in the morning, I will go for a, uh, a liver test. And based on the results from the 24-hour urine and the liver test, they will decide whether or not they will transport me to um, the other hospital that we have down here um, to deliver baby girl um, and place her in the NICU. So um, that's basically what's been going on with me. I just wanted to give you ladies a you know brief update. Um, I'm not trying to avoid anyone or you know keep y'all out of the loop um, I'm really not feeling up to par I'm pushing myself um, the best way that I can um, it's really exhausting um, my body is really just worn out and I just ask for prayers but thank you guys for watching um, and I look forward to updating you guys very soon good night